nobody and you fail, nobody cares. But when you're somebody, well, then you really don't want to fail. Opening soon follows the true story of a restaurateur's vision from concept to opening night. Like this is the one thing that could go wrong, that you really you have no control over. Worst case scenario, um, we can't open. That's worst case scenario. I'm a worrier, but he's, uh, this guy's like the voice of doom. <laughs> Tony Longo and Cesar Fazzari have been best friends since they were 10 years old. My first job was McDonald's. My second job was with him. He grabbed me and says, hey, come be a busboy with me. And Cesar and I were the most requested busboys from the waiters. You know, we were superstars. Cesar went on to become a successful contractor. This might take a while, but I'm a tough guy, so I won't cry. Tony stayed in the restaurant business. He quit school at 13 to support his family and eventually became owner of one of Toronto's finest establishments. I just wanted to survive here as a waiter. <laughs> I never thought about the ownership of it. I'd like to introduce myself and say, hello. I'm Tony Longo. People are just, they gravitate to him. He's got a magnetism. He's always had that. He's had that in, in grade six, you know, with teachers, with uh, all the girls. Thanks. Thanks for that game. I had a good time. I had a great time. Tony has run big restaurants, but he's never created one from scratch. That's about to change. With his old friend Caesar as co-owner and contractor, Tony is creating Flow in Toronto's upscale Yorkville district. Yorkville is an incredible, incredible area. Uh, the, uh, what you see down here is, is, is like the movies all the shops and all the beautiful people, beautiful women, all the beautiful cars. Everything is down here. It's a tough place to start a business. The price of admission is high and the locals aren't easily impressed. But this old multi-level restaurant inspired them with its potential. I think the big thing that I get walking in here and what I did the first time is it's space, you know, and that's one thing that's great about here is you walk in and you, you don't feel claustrophobic. You know, it's open, it's like, whoa. It's a big venue, and to make it pay, Tony has to fill it around the clock. Brunch, lunch, and dinner service will hopefully keep the main floor humming, and the downstairs bar and lounge is designed to attract the after work and late night crowd. This to me is like a designer's dream. The executors of this dream? Hot design firm 2x4. Tony's banking on them to wow the Yorkville crowd. He came to us with the name, and we said, great, how do we make this not, not so whimsical with the name Flo and so obvious? This, this is a fairly neutral um, restaurant when it's installed. It's all natural colors of stones and woods and, and uh, beautiful lighting. This was that bit of pop that we were looking for, a bit of punch in the space. And this would then uh, represent the new graphic, the new sort of image for flow. This is kind of our contemporary forest. The budget for the build and redesign is just shy of $2 million. The entrance yes. maybe Tony, maybe we'll Caesar, and Julian Gova are all stepping up to the plate. Everybody's on the hook. You know, when you know you're on the hook and you know you can't just walk away, then you dig your feet in and you dig your nails in and say, I'm gonna make it work because you know, whatever your lifestyle is, depends on this. And then, you know, I look at people like Caesar and I say, I would never let Caesar down with his money or my junior partners coming out, I'd never let you down. And then whatever it takes, you know, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do it together. But so far, they're doing it without a food concept. Tony has yet to find the right chef. I know a lot of the personalities of the chefs in this city. And, you know, one thing you don't want to hire is attitude or, uh, you know, somebody who's into themselves and think that they're, you know, they're the God's gift to the kitchen. While Tony is looking for the perfect chef, Caesar is dealing with a less than perfect 28-year-old building. Eroding pipes have led to significant water damage in the lounge area. You can see the rust on the wall. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's amazing. But how about all this, the, the water here? 
Is this from the That's spring? from outside. We're going to okay. have to look at that. Today is the first day it rained. Okay. So we're going to have to see uh, what we're going to do about that because we're, we're looking at a good maybe eight, 9000 bucks now to put it all back together. Just to put it together. Yeah, put our crown not molding. Not the cost of the no, sprinkler no, 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 guy. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. But, but we still have to address this, uh, the water issue here. Yeah, before, before we, we close, close up, walls. definitely, before we close up. Okay. So this is another, what, three days. Caesar's a great buddy, but he has no control over the sub trades. It's just, it doesn't happen fast enough. We've been all working really late just to meet the schedule. As a matter of fact, I'm embarrassed to say this, but I missed my, my son's communion last, uh, last Saturday. But, sacrifices you have to make. Hopefully the check will pay off uh, at the end of every year for the next 10 years. Hey, Julian? 15 years. Yeah. 15 years. 15 years. After an exhaustive two-month search, Tony has finally found his chef. Richard Andino, a veteran of some of the city's finest restaurants, has been made executive chef and part owner. I have an Asian culture. I was born in the Philippines, but I grew up in Canada. I've been here for 34 years. It's a classical French and Italian type. Uh, dishes that I've been trained in. But because I'm ethnic, I'd like to incorporate some of that into the dishes. Richard, I just, uh, you know, something about him, big smile, big guy, but there was no attitude. Or so Tony thinks. Every cook has to have an ego, because if they don't, they'll never make it. What I do know is my food's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. I mean, I. I've had a lot of good response. I just haven't showcased it anywhere, where, and this is the perfect forum for it. Perfect color. Nice. So, am I excited? Oh, yeah. This is the beginning of, of Richard Andino, I guess. But before Richard can start cooking, a big problem has to be solved. The exhaust system has stopped working. That's a half a million dollar unit. It's, it's not your average unit. Yeah. Hopefully, it's, it's something small. It's just uh, a little diode or something like that. Like, this is the one thing that could go wrong, that you really you have no control over. You can't say, well, we can just go up and, and, and change it. Worst case scenario, um, they can't find the parts, and, and we can't open. That's worst case scenario. Something like this. You know, you go home and say, what if, you know? I think my worry would be more not losing my money, but what will people think? What would, you know, what would they say? Oh, geez, you know, he blew it. You know, if you're a nobody, you know, and I'm not saying I'm a somebody, but if you're a nobody and you fail, nobody cares. But when you've, you know, developed a, a reputation uh, of uh, honesty and quality relationships, well, then you really don't want to fail. Today, a sample table has arrived. Wow, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Ta-da! <laughs> and so is the new plateware. I really look forward to seeing some color on the plate. You know, <laughs> so maybe, maybe, maybe in, the, in the next, in the next, next shots. Next couple of weeks. Next couple of weeks. But before anything can go on the plate, Richard has to get in the kitchen. There's nothing wrong with the kitchen. It's just, it's not here. I haven't touched a, a fry pan in, say, uh, what, two and a half months? And so I want to start doing it. I need to start doing it. Caesar is also waiting on late deliveries. There's been a strike in Italy, so there was um, a holdup. That's why we don't have our all of our um, mosaic glass. There's a strike in Spain now, so we can't get our, uh, our, our stone wall. Uh, and so I've made arrangements actually yesterday to have that flown in, so there's an extra $4,000, which is a big item. You know, one of those days you want to break down? <laughs> Today's my day. Today's not the day. Today's, you know, that's what it feels like. Um, Tony's so frustrated by the delays, he leaves early. I couldn't wait to get out because it's all day. You know, all you're looking at is cash output and no income. Caesar's a great buddy, but he has no control over the sub trades. It's just, it doesn't happen fast enough some days. I heard everybody screaming, you know, holes, push holes. And I said, Caesar's going to come down. He ain't going to be happy. <laughs> it wasn't a pretty sight.
Flo is located in the heart of Toronto's fashionable Yorkville district. The restaurant is open from 11.30 a.m. to 2 a.m. Monday to Saturday and 11 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. on Sunday. The lounge is open from 4 p.m. to restaurant closing. Flo offers an innovative Asian twist on classic French and Italian dishes. Appetizers cost from $6 to $18. Main dishes range between $12 and $35, and desserts are priced from $10 to $12. The signature dish is steamed black cod. It consists of charred miso crusted black cod wrapped in a pandan leaf with habanero spiked coconut broth served with Chinese long beans and crescent potatoes. It sells for $35. It's only five short days before opening, but at least the sign is going up. The mural has been installed, the stone wall is in, and finally, so is the kitchen. We just sparked up all the units today, so just making sure that, uh, that they're all working. So, so far, so good. And then, not so good. The next day, the sign comes down. I brought the kids for their birthday party. I brought them to WrestleMania. The phone starts ringing. The sign's got problems. There's a scratch in the sign. We took a look at it. There was a scratch. It was a clear-cut deficiency, but no use freaking out, because if you start freaking out on the people, then they'll just say, screw you, and they won't show up anyway to fix it. Good morning. Good morning, Tony. How are you? Not bad. Not bad. Tony's putting on a good face but the stress is getting to him and his immune system. I've been feeling not well about two days ago. But yesterday I got this and the ear infection, and bronchitis, and you don't really know what your body's you know, feeling or going through because you don't sleep a lot. I'll wake up and start thinking of you know, what's going, you know, I give you money, you, know, you worry about monies. And... But at least he can rest easy about the exhaust system. What needs to be done basically is there's an air conditioning coil that needs to be fixed. It was setting off the breakers. That is around 7,000 bucks to fix that. We haven't fixed it yet. We will fix it. The designer's vision is starting to materialize, but Tony's not so sure about the mural. The graphic, I'm, I'm a little like, is it not too much? You know, when you got the fabric and that, if you know, we did something else, would it have worked better than, than this? There are always going to be other solutions. Yeah. It's beautiful anyway. It's but you just... know what? You will never see it this bright in here, remember. I exactly. So, when we lowered the lights. Yeah, that yeah. is much more subtle. Yeah. But you got to, you know, like everything, you got to have a, a woman that looks good with the makeup off. That's true. You know, so here you have to have a restaurant when your lights are all up, it's still got to look beautiful. Finally got the gas in. Uh, let's see. The gas, everything, the hoods are working, everything's perfect. The, the whole line just came together. Uh, it's, it's a dream. It's a dream kitchen, actually. And today, Richard's dream menu will be put to the test. He's preparing a tasting for his co-owners, Tony, Caesar, and Julian. All right, now the dressing. This is the this is the expensive a, delivery here. <laughs> this is the shrimp stack. All right, uh, it's miso it's miso roasted, so Fingers. we're gonna go over it. Yes. What are they? Like them? Because I'd eat all the sauce. <laughs> sauce should make so the it's dish. It's a peppercorn. It's a green peppercorn and orange. An orange. It's just orange. I just think you know one thing that always turns me off with some foods when it's over broiled, over char okay. uh, charred. Okay. You just get that bitter yep. taste and you have a sensitive palate. You know, I'm no food guru, but if I say, look, it's too salty, too dry, too hard, and you take a fit on me, you're the wrong guy. I want their harshest criticism. I welcome it because if you don't if you don't take somebody else's criticism, you're never gonna get any better. Like I mean that's what life's about I guess, right? You you take what, what's bad and you make it better. Yeah, put a little more sauce here, please. There you go. It's in a habanero spiked coconut broth, so that means there's not too much. You'll, you'll taste it. Wow. But there's really no good. 
This is the best one so far. The cod is an unqualified hit. Very proud of it. Okay. Very good. You should be. Good. It's the day before opening, and another burst pipe has caused a flood in the downstairs lounge. So this is where it happened. We, uh, we, those two lights had to be replaced. The whole ceiling uh, came down. All this furniture was here. It was, it was Niagara Falls. And then the poor guys, uh, they didn't know what to do, and they panicked, and they started smashing holes into the ceiling. And there was, because they figured that would stop the water from, from running further back. I heard everybody screaming, you know, holes, push holes. And I said, Caesar's going to come down. He ain't going to be happy. <laughs> so I just went over there and started doing other things, waiting for Caesar to come. And he came like a hurricane. <laughs> it wasn't a pretty sight. The flood has delayed Flo's opening by a day. And setbacks like these come with a hefty price tag. Between rent, uh, taxes, and let's say potential revenue, it's approximately $8,000 a day. You came, I thought you knew what you were doing, now you're telling me I don't know what I'm doing. No, no, so, no, no, hold on, no, 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 no. Okay? The sign is back and the lights are up at least the ones that have arrived. So we have the three for here, but we're missing four. You know what? No one will notice the difference. There's enough detail in here to concentrate on without having to focus on that. There's a rush on to get the water feature installed, but the most pressing issue is the stairs leading down to the bar. We're missing our top uh, piece, our top step. It's probably one of the most important pieces. And what happened when they came to install it, the piece broke, and hopefully it'll be done by uh, 4 o'clock this afternoon. Richard and his team dress for battle. Today's when I start to go uh, a little mental. I want to impress the people tonight. It's my, I guess, my coming out party, my debut. <laughs> he has confidence in his staff. He just wishes there were more of them. Carol. A quarter of his cooks have already quit. The heat started to come up and they started to fizzle away, so they didn't want to take it, so they leave. I was once described as a big dog, always chasing somebody. Yeah, that's me. See off the stairs? Here, give me that. The top step arrives, but it's not the right size. I don't know. So that it would sit flush. Okay, stop, stop, stop. These guys show up and it's a full three eighths higher. You can't have that. My only concern right now is that the tradespeople are still cutting some wood and, and there are some dust particles in the air, so I don't want to put any glassware on the table right now. I don't want to put any napkins on the table. There's four hours to go. The step isn't done, and the tradesman says it won't get done in time for the party. You came, I thought you knew what you were doing. Now you're telling me I don't know what I'm doing. No, no, so, no, no, hold on. No, 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 okay? no. the job done. Crying on the phone doesn't help. Just let's do it. Don't worry about it. Caesar insists that the step be cut to size on site. You ready there? Well, it's two and a half hours and the party's here. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be done. We'll be ready. We, there's no choice. Caesar's perseverance pays off. See? Perfect. Acetone, clean it up. You can handle it? Yeah. Great, thanks. With 30 minutes to spare, the kitchen is ready. The water is cascading, intentionally this time, and Tony is finally ready to go with the flow. Showtime, yeah, we're ready. We're ready to go. Pick this up, please. I'm like, 
like, oh my god, I can't believe we're actually doing this. I'm not like, I'm actually doing it. No, not yet. Spring roll. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Oh, thank you. Amazing. Nice Good to meet you. you. Thank you. Job and thanks thank for coming you. into the neighborhood. Oh, <laughs> my thanks pleasure. Our pleasure, exactly. Yeah, I see us. You know, next year, you know, in the next 12, 14 months, we'll start looking at some other things because it's been fun. Congratulations. It's been great. You know, great for me. I, I, I do it again, and we will do it we'll again. Do it again. A little smaller. Yeah. Or maybe Stupid. bigger. No, no, no. <laughs>